I'm at grandma's playing with Parzival and uh, I'm house sitting for the weekend and I come down the stairs of her shed to her garage and this whole room was filled with steam the whole room and this is her she's got a cover and this water was just pouring down this wall and filled down here and uh, I I called her and was like where's your water shut off and she didn't know so then I went over to her pump house and shut that off this stuff all got wet so I put it out in the sun to dry you can still see some of the humidity that was left but it's mostly taken care of I think this box is all wet I had to throw away a bunch of cardboard items that got soaked but it was a good thing that I was here this weekend because if not then it would have just kept on leaking until she got back next week and that would have been pretty bad. So there's been a new development. For those of you that don't know, I've been planning on doing some of my own springs at some point. I just haven't uh, had the time or energy to do something like that. But I'm gonna be making a spring for the sewing mechanic at work. And if I'm gonna pull all my spring equipment out and have them set up, I'd like to just leave them somewhere and have it set up instead of having to move it and all that. So, you know, just move it once. And there was a guy who mom was letting store a bunch of stuff in here, but he stopped paying, you know, like months, like almost half a year ago, he stopped paying. And then uh, he was just storing it in there for free and she didn't want to like throw his stuff away, but gave him a bunch of warnings. And finally, eventually he took care of it, got it all empty. Now it's like, well, you know what? It's me, I could use half of this storage unit for my spring equipment. And mom can use the other half for some of the stuff that she needs to store. We'll split the cost. She isn't gonna worry about me not paying. And then uh, I can have my stuff set up in there so I can do my springs. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna bring the equipment out and uh, roll it in there after. So this is what my situation looks like right now. Uh, first, I'm gonna see if one of those tables will fit in the back.
I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. <laughs> this is what kind of where I'm at. I got some stuff that still gotta go in there, but it kind of needs some organization, and I don't really know where to put the camera to have it really capture everything well, so I'm not gonna try. My quick update for this week is I put some cardboard on that side of the wall so that I've got cardboard on two sides, because why not? The The sad thing about cardboard is I could literally have this whole place cardboarded up in one day. Like, one day after work, I could cardboard this entire interior uh, easily. I've just been so, like, depressed and unmotivated. So, doing this, like, really small thing... Uh, you know, it's a big step. So I also got this big Berkey. I've been wanting one for a while. They are like $450. So I saw that there was one going for auction and I got it for $150. Um, so that was big savings until uh, I opened it up and all the filters inside were busted. So I had to order new filters. Your filters were three hundred thirty dollars, so it ended up costing me four eighty. Now, technically, I could have bought a new one for four hundred fifty, and it would have came with two filters. Um, but I bought four filters, so uh, yeah. And there's off-brand filters I could have bought for way cheaper, but I bought directly from the source, so I knew I wouldn't have to deal with nothing. And the problem is, it. It, uh, for whatever reason, the spout is, like, fucked up. It's, like, probably got crud in it, you know, like, from being left for a long time or, you know, lime scale, whatever. And then it, it tastes, like, funky when you use it right now. So what I've been doing is I've been using it essentially as, like, a, a water tower. It is filtering. It is going through those filters that eliminate, like... It's like the super filters that could make, like I could put pond water in there and it would be safe to drink. It doesn't matter what, what the thing is, it pretty much filters out everything. Um, I also got this like water jug. So what I've been doing is go down, fill this water jug up with the hose, dump, pour the water jug into the Berkey. So that filters the hose water. Then I put the Berkey water into this, which is what I was using before. The Brita is a filter that's designed for taste. The Berkey is a filter that's designed for, uh, you know, eliminating bacteria, viruses, etc. So by doing it that way, even though this currently tastes cruddy, uh, I can drink good tasting water from there. And then this one's kind of easier to fill up a water bottle anyways it's like a lot faster than trying to use the drip faucet over there um so it kind of works out pretty good and i'm gonna order a new spout a new spigot for that but they do they make uh, metal ones and i should have just got it when i got the filters but i did not test it out before i got the filters because i you know you should have filters in it when you're using it you want to? I'll show you guys what the filters look like. Cause why not? That's the engine for anyone who was curious. I've been keeping these plastic bags because I'm I'm gonna use the plastic. The this is Oppa's doorway in and out of the motorhome. And then these are the black filters. They're kind of cool. They're like uh, a ceramic or stone or something like that. They break easily though, and. The filters it used to have in it were ceramic for sure. They were like, uh, like reusable. You could like wash them and scrub them with a sponge and use them for a long time. Uh, and then they were filled with like black sand or black rocks. But the only reason I know that is because they were busted when I got it in the auction. But that is something that was on my list of things to get. And I technically got it at a discount, just not as big of a discount as it could have been. And, uh, that's it. That's my little update for today.